Oh yeah. It works. Success. All right, you guys, it's finally here. I got my pizza oven. Let's check it out. Alright, let's open this up and see what we've got. Guide. And for your warranty card. Alright, bear with me. I'm doing this outside, so it might be a little bit noisy. But looks like we have our line hook up here. We've got our stone that goes on the base of the Uni Coda. A little manual. We don't need that. Figure it out. Good. Some cardboard cushioning. Just kidding, I always use the manual. Uh, just taking off the plastic. Looks like the legs flip up. It's pretty straightforward. There we go. And there we have it. Install the nice little ceramic base right at the base. And that's it. That's our propane hookup. Alright, so I did order some other essential items from Uni as well because I'm that person who has to accessorize everything he buys. Um, so I got some oven gloves as well. Got to protect those hands. A pizza oven brush because I like to keep things clean. Of course, a carrying cover because you never know when you might want to carry it around, but also just to protect it from the elements. I got a dual sided sizzler plate as well. Uh, since I do like to cook things other than just pizza, this will come in handy. And last but not least, a natural gas conversion kit. Um, Uni comes from the factory with a propane hookup. Uh, I do have a natural gas line literally right here uh, outside of the house, so might as well take advantage of that and use a natural gas line hookup. This does come separately as well. They just came in stock and I ordered it as soon as I saw. Um, they're about $50, but um, worth it. So you don't have to buy propane tanks all the time. All right, I'm gonna move this thing to the side real quick just to set up the propane to gas hookup. toolkit with it too. So let's see. Take the 
this out real quick. I gotta flip it back upside down. Woody says you need a 19 inch wrench. 19 millimeter, rather. Yeah, that's correct. Lucy. Regulator removed. All right, now we're going to go ahead and remove the regulator box. Unscrew and disconnect the two nozzle housings with the 12 millimeter wrench. So it looks like this one and this one. We'll remove because we're going to replace it with these little new little these new little fittings are smaller. All right, I finally got it off. That's what you're trying to get off. Come on, autofocus, come on. That's what I finally got off. And then this little piece inside should come right out with this tool that they give you. Focus. So it should just come right off. Maybe. All right, and now, out with the old, in with the new. This is the gas flow nozzle spot, yep. And it wants me to rotate counterclockwise 20 full rotations. And then we put the 
shielding back on. Alright. He's in. gas color which is this see it says natural gas on it Ooh, come on come on you can focus right there there you go natural gas parts. You never know when you want to go back to propane. There's the new hose. Another one that you want to make sure is tight, but not too tight. These threads are not intended for a ton of strength. So there we go. That should be good. Right. I think we're getting close to the end. And then we have to attach the national, uh, national, the natural gas supply hose, which is this right here. Start her up. We push in and twist slowly. There she goes. 
in about 20 minutes. So I'm going to show you my gas line setup. I uh, had to get a little creative with it because um, for whatever reason the fitting didn't go directly into the uni hose so well so I had to go to Home Depot to pick up a couple things but let me show you. So right here is our gas line that we had installed with the house. Um, I had to get a little three quarters, uh, three quarter inch uh, hose, uh, same uh, dimensions as a garden hose to uh, put on uh, the inner fitting of the pipe and then an adapter to go down to a half inch and then another adapter to go down to three eighths inch and then we have the actual hose itself which comes around over here to another adapter that we had to go from three eighths to half inch and then that half inch goes into the uh, quick release valve for the uni oven hose which then goes all the way up into the regulator right there and that's that's all there is to it so kind of a pain in the butt but uh in the end uh that's just kind of what happens that's why i'm on day two now after setting up the uni oven because day one was spent uh feeding the baby but then also scrambling to go to home depot to go get these certain little pieces to needed to make sure it worked properly but uh, i have some video and pictures of the actual uh, first light up of the oven and it worked perfectly and it's beautiful because it was at night so uh, you'll see that next. It works! Success!